Shalom. For every spiritual problem, there is a prophet meant for it. Until that prophet is located, you will never find solution. So, connect with your prophet today and unlock the purpose of your life. Shalom. Master Prophet, the awakening one. Iyi kuru ne me, okorobia di mai. Onya mumma yahua, the great sea. Iyi kuru ne me, okorobia di mai. Be our friend spiritually than the awakening one. Iyi kuru ne me, okorobia di Onya mumma yahua, the great sea. Iyi kuru ne me, okorobia di mai. Master prophet, akana gworia e. Iyi kuru ne me, okorobia di mai. Onya mumma yahua, the great sea. Ani so kwa ginazo, okorobia di mai. Master prophet, onya mumma abiafura. Ani so kwa ginazo, okorobia di mai. Onya mumma yahua, the great sea. Iyi kuru ne me. Onya mumma yahua, the great sea. The difference is clear. Shalom, this is the Master Prophet, young Joshua Yawin, speaking from baden württemberg Germany, where Yahuwah speaks to his servant, the prophet. The scripture declares, there be a prophet in the land, I will reveal and manifest myself to him in dream and in vision. Today I will be talking on the kingdom is inside of you. The kingdom is inside of you. You see, this is a a, a preparation. This is a foundational teaching to bring so that to prepare to the time that I will be unveiling the 18th principle of the universe. This 18th principle of the universe will be the core foundational teaching we will be teaching in our synagogue. You see, we are destroying the existing order, the existing religion, the religion of the white man, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. I am toppling it. I have been doing this for the past 10 years. Seven years precisely. Trying to topple, trying to awaken the consciousness of our people. Trying to educate them. Trying to tell them, teach them that the religion that our parents brought us into, where the religion that the slave master brought their parents into. This thing is now something that parents teach their children. That is the mandate of the slave master. The slave master ordered their slaves to make sure you teach your children the, our ways. Teach the children the way so that they will never stop from following us. This is the instruction of the slave masters. This is the instructions of the slave masters that they gave to our ancestors. Teach your children about what we have taught you. What I am going to be doing in years to come is to start up a new thing.
you have to understand that there are people when they see a time, something of a new beginning, when you begin to do something newly, they will think, hey, you know. When the slave masters started Christianity, they never knew that it would be like this. Those who wrote the Bible, they never thought that people would take it serious. When they were writing the Bible, they were eating cow leg or maybe chicken. You know, the way they will roast pork meat, pig, they will bring it on the table. They will just draw it out and eat it. And they are writing. They are drinking wine in a big jar. They never thought that people would take this thing seriously. But they did it that time so that they can control the sheep, the sheep which were your ancestors. They can control them, they can keep them under control. And today, people take those things that they wrote seriously. People now put their life upon that play. People were just playing, playing around, writing things. You remember when they wrote some things, they said, this man slept with his daughter, this man slept with his son, this man slept with his uh, mother, this, this person slept with his blah, 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 all those rubbish, all those things that they were writing in the Bible. It was like, it was like a, a joke. Maybe the soldiers, they were bored. They don't know what else to do. They start to write rubbish and they put it as episode episode and the Bible. That time they were laughing. They were wondering how can we control the slaves, which is you, the black people, with this. But what they did was to use weapon to make sure that the slaves are able to teach it to their children. To the extent when the slaves were naked, maybe you are playing with your wife and you see a white man passing by, you just bow down. And your wife will be there, you know, naked. And the slave master will just pass, touch her like this. You don't say anything. You just bow down. And your wife will not say anything. Your wife would just be like that. The slave master would just touch them as they like, you know, or maybe touch them, do molest them in the front of the husband. Maybe the slave master would say to the husband, go and get me uh, something. And the, the husband would just run. Before they would come, the slave master has already molested their wives. Your ancestors, you, the black man, when you bring the thing and come, your slave master has already taken your wife to the corner. Maybe molest her. And when they are done, the slave master will then clean up himself and then tell and then tell the man, go and get me this on wine, go and get me something. You can never question your slave masters. And your wife who came back inside the room, bow her head in shame. The only thing that the husband will say, it's okay, it's not, it's not your fault. You must obey the master. And this is one thing that the men start telling their wives, you must obey the master. He is your master. He is our master. So the white man put the fear in the life of the black man, that the black man sees them as God, physical one, divine, physical one, that in the front of the men, they abuse the wives. And don't forget there are some of the white guys, those that were so homosexual, they also abuse the black men.
you cannot say to the slave master, no, don't touch my wife. That day, the thing that you have done there will be cut out. Then let's see who's going to take care of your wife. That means all they are going to rape you yourself in the public of everybody. So what do you want? The slave master to just take their wife for, for one hour and release her later. This is how they are able to put fear in the life of our people. You remember when they came to Nigeria, when they came to, to, to Ghana, when they came to Kenya, when they came to, to, to Benin Kingdom, when they came to Yoruba Kingdom, they were coming with people with white, they put on white, they hold the Bible, they come, they say, we came in the name of the Lord. Yes, they came in the name of the Lord. Who was the Lord? King James. The king of England. And when they allowed the people in, the priests were still there. They have servants, they have our women, they have our men serving them. And they were there when the military came. They were chaining them with chains, taking them to the overseas, where they transported them, where they sent them to Portugal, where they sent them to all corners of the world. And some of those people. Our kings also helped to sell them. You see, there was a time that a king cooperated, cooperated with the people, with the slave masters. And it came to pass when the slave master said, Oh, no, 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 no. We own even you, the king. And this is when the king realized that, no, we cannot do anything. By that time, the white man has taken over our kingdom entirely because they, they even take the sons of the king and, and send them to slavery. Today, you are worshipping something that your slave master created. Somebody said, yeah, yeah, I understand all that they did, that they brought us Jesus. You are a fool. You are smoking something. You smoke something. What they brought to you was the result, how you are today. The level, you are in a lower state. You are not in that state which originally you were made to be. Maybe you are going to church on Saturday. Maybe you are going to mosque on Friday. Maybe next Sunday you are going, you are going to Shabbat on Saturday. You are going to the mosque. This Friday, tomorrow, you are going to church next week, Friday. You are no longer in that state of oneness with the divine which you were made, you were supposed to be. Now you are walking like the lowest, the lowest animal in the planet Earth. You are no longer in that place of honor, authority as oneness with the divine. Because your slave master said to you, you are not the divine. You are this, you are animal, you are inferior. I remember one of my in-laws told me that my color was result that I was cursed. This is not that they said face to face. She didn't say it to somebody in my face. We are talking about the Bible. She told me that it's written is because of the cause. I said, turn the fire, turn the fire you. I wanted to kick her out of my house that very day. You have to understand, and you see, you see the understanding. This is not 100 years ago, this is just 20 years ago. Somebody says something like this to compare 100 years ago what the white people think about you. You are nothing, and this religion you are giving offering, these pastors, this. Pastors that are doing the bidding of the slave masters. In fact, this is what they are doing. They are enabling the horrific deed actions of the slave masters for not going to investigate the thing that they taught them. 
and you that have coconut and you will tell me you are evil. In fact, you are a product of your fathers, the slaves. And that's why you have not woken up and you have been indoctrinated. That's why when I woke up, before I came back to this planet, there was a man in my hometown. I don't know what went in my eyes, I'm sorry. There was a man in my hometown. The man has so many wives in his past life, in his life. And he did so many things. When he was about to die, you know what he said? He said, if I come back to the next world, I will really seek to know the truth about the Supreme. And when he died, I was reincarnated. The wife of that man came to me and called me my husband. The wife of that man always come to tell me, my husband, look at your goods, look at your farm, everything is in, in order, and etc. etc. I was asking my mother, why is she calling me my husband? They said that I'm the one that reconnected, reconnected the husband. To today, the children of that man, they call me daddy. In our language, they said, Namoche. My father. Today, I am diving deep to really come into that place of oneness with the divine. I refuse to be shortchanged. There has been a lot of obstacles on my way to stop me. The power that be, the Illuminati, have tried so many ways to put hindrances on my way. But I have a mission and I must accomplish that mission till I'm departed from this planet Earth. And when I'm departed, I will be in the sky as oneness with the divine. And when you look, you will see the stars in the sky and the working one will be there. Where I shall no longer die, it shall come to pass. This 18th principle that will be the cornerstone of our teaching of this new awakening we're going to be teaching people the principle that's, that is principle. That is 18th principle. Number, principle number one, principle number two, principle number three, principle number four. This is going to be the core foundation so that we can bring our, bring our people back into their former state. Not their present animal state. Not their present animal state but their former divine state i want to read you something that yahushua said you should not worship yahushua you should not worship anything you should not worship buddha you can read what buddha said you can read what Yahushua said. You should not worship those who worship does not know. Those who know does not worship. If you are wooden, you cannot say that Jesus is Lord. If you are wooden, you cannot pray to Jesus. If you are, if you have coconut then you can do all those things because you have coconut. And you cannot blame somebody. Because I have been teaching this thing for the past 10 years. Awakening our people, awakening their consciousness. And now there are so many people teaching the same thing. I remember 10 years ago, I was teaching with other groups in America. Like, like for example, North Carolina, Hebrew Israelites. I was the one teaching them before I left that. Because the direction there, 
trying to go now, the direction they are now is that they are the Jew. They are the black people in America, it's only the Jew. The black people in Africa are the Arabs. So by that time we have problem, I left them. But you see, each time I always give in our Igbo, they said, it means each time I teach something, I also keep one. So they thought that they are pushing that way, but now <laughs> they can never comprehend. See what Yahushua, the black man, said. If those who lead you, those who lead you, who are they? You are pastor, you are, you are a reverend, you are imam, you are father, you are mother, you are friend, Buhari, Jubril, that machine, and etc., and etc., and etc. If those who lead you say to you, see, the kingdom of God is in the sky. You remember what you are done behind pastors teach you that heaven is in the sky. And say so the bed of the sky will precede you. If they say to you, it is in the sea, the fish of the sea will precede you. Rather, the kingdom of God is inside of you. Bingo. It is inside of you and outside of you. When you come to know yourselves, then you will become known. You see, when you come to know yourselves, what does it mean? When you are awakened, when you are awakened, when you are awakened, when you are no longer sleeping, our people, the evils, are in a sleep state. They are walking, but they are sleeping. The black people are in a sleep state. He said, when you are awakened, he said, when you come, he said that the kingdom of God, the kingdom is inside of you and it is outside of you. When you come to know yourselves, first of all, you have to realize, you have to know who you are. Then you will become known. When you know yourself, you will be known. First of all, you have to realize yourself. Realize who you are. You realize your dual, dual nature. That you are not just one person, you are two. You are also divine. When you realize that you are divine nature, this divine nature and this physical nature now will become one. In that state, you will no longer be going to cheat your wife. You will not be going to cheat your husband. You are not going to use your, your mother for, for, for rituals or your father for rituals or your children for rituals, or whatever, or whatever. In that time, you are now in a state of oneness with the divine. You do what, you see, you come in that place one. You are no longer having this animal nature, this stupidity, this coconut. It is gone. You are awakened. Your sleep state is over. You're no longer sleeping. Now you are realized that, Oh gee, I have wasted my 50 years in this stupidity, Christianity and Judaism. That time you are awakened. You look like a man that was drunk and you fall on the roadside. The next day you realize that you are naked and people have taken pictures of you. And the girl which you were chasing were came also to take pictures of you. And the thing that you have was so, so little. Nothing you do that the girl will agree to you because your nakedness has been shown all around the world. It's just like you are a girl that you get drunk on and you are on the side road. Your breast is hanging out and people came and look and the man that was spinning you, chasing you for, for months and you refuse, realize that there is nothing hanging there, that everything is flat. The man will not never come back to you. The reality, a waking state. When you realize that 
your nakedness has been seen. You said, oh, I've been a fool. The day the Igbos, black men, will awaken to the reality that they have been fooled by the slave masters, that they have been misled, just like those who commit the serial killers. If they catch them, they tell them, where did you bury the people? They say they buried, they buried them in Asarok. Why they buried them in Los Angeles? People will be chasing, chasing the cops in Asarok. Why it is in Saudi Arabia? They have misled the investigators. You have to understand that you are in a state of sleep state. In Arahona. And this slave state was intentional by a slave master. Because if you're a slave master, tell you the truth. Today, black people all around the world, those our black brothers and sisters in America, they, they would have come back to Africa and came and joined hand, overthrow those crazy people. Make our place a perfect place. But no, they will not realize because the way they took them. They took them in a way that they will never know where they came from. You know, when they take the slaves, they will deceive them. First of all, bring the sheep here. 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 here. Keep them here for 10 years. Keep them there for 30 years. They will never know which country that they brought them from. The slave masters are more intelligent than you. And that's why they set up religion so that they can keep you in check. Let's follow the, the writings of Yahushua, which you should not worship. When you come to know yourselves, then you will be known. You will be known by the supreme inside of you. And you will realize that it is you who are the sons and the daughters of the Father. By that time, you realize that it is you. I am the light of the world. I am one with the divine. I am the divine. I am the image of the divine. I am one with the divine. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I am the universe. Universe is in me. Universe obey my command. You remember the time that I said, I said, universe obeys my command. I'm not talking to Igbos with coconut. I am speaking to the universe. Because the universe obeys my command. Because I have come to the state that I realize that I am one with the Father. It's not finished. But if you will not know yourselves, no, I will die in Christianity. My father born me in Christianity. My mama born me in Christianity. I will die in Christianity. Your coconut head will die in Christianity. And you continue to be a slave till you are answered 10, 20 million generation because you are somebody that, that refused to be awakened, refused to even check the information that was given to you. Some people, when they tell them, they say, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, I will not look at it, I will not look at it because the slave master has already locked the coconut on their head. They have tomatoes. There's no way that they will be awakened. He said, if you will not know yourself, if you will not realize who you are, you are not here to worship anything. You are not here to worship anything. If the purpose that the Supreme brought you here is to worship, then why? would have been there worshiping the supreme, 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 supreme. The purpose you are here because you are divine. You are here to come here and make love with your wife, make love with your husband, enjoy, celebrate your divine nature. Here on the planet Earth, one less with the divine. You have to understand that making love, I'm not talking about fornication. I'm not talking about adultery. Making love with your husband, with your wife, is like when you're making love with your wife, the angels, the supreme will be clapping. 
Because this is the act of the divine. The divine and the divine are coming together. The angels will be looking and be happy and say, Oh, I wish I'm these people. Oh, these people are enjoying. Oh my gosh. And this is the thing that when you go to church, the pastor will tell husband and wife, hey, you know, leave your husband, come to church, morning, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The woman have not met love with the husband. The man has not met love with the, with the wife. But this is the, 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 when you are making love, you are accomplishing the, the, the first priority that you came here on the planet Earth. You didn't come here to pray to anything. You came here to worship the divine in you. And when you are opportuned to have a lovely wife or a good husband, and both of you are making love, the kingdom has been opened up on today. You are exercising your divine rights. The universe will be moving, rejoicing, clapping. The ocean will be singing, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hallelujah. Glory be to Yahuwah. I know some men will say, Prophet, right on. Hey, and those who doesn't have a wife will say, oh my God. So, he said, you will not know yourselves. You will dwell in poverty. What is in poverty? It's not just talking about money. It's talking about you are in poverty. You are, you are worthless. A man that has not transcended the mind, a woman that has not transcended the mind is worthless. You are useless. You are dead. You are a corpse. You are a zoo. You are a dead body. He will also a cause. He said, you dwell in poverty. And it is you that is that poverty. It is your coconut head that you are buying in stupidity, worshipping the things created by the slave master. Those who have taken advantage of your mother, those who have raped your father, raped your grandfather, taken all your resources, Taking your brothers and sisters, taking them away violently, taking them away without even pay. Even those that they paid money, they paid a little dime. Imagine the value, the most valuable resources Africa had was our people. When the white men came, the ones that they came sold, they sold them maybe, uh, okay, give me 1,000 people, we'll give you a bag of salt, I will give you a bag of sugar. What did the Africans were looking for? They have gold, diamond, everything. So what did the Europeans have to give them? Sugar. And they give them maybe 1,000 people or 10,000 people. So they sold them for just a piece of bread. And when they refused to sell them, they now came to take the entire people. So You have to understand this. I am explaining so that you get it. You be a fool. He said, This man, don't have to fire him. He is he's criticizing Jesus. You have to wake up. Go and read 1611 King James Bible. You are Jesus was not there. Go to the archives of the University of Tel Aviv. They excavated the geographic place. The place that they think that the children of Israel will walk from Egypt to Israel. They didn't find no evidence. No evidence. Official document said there is no evidence proven. They have not found anything that has to do with, with all the things they wrote in the New Testament. They cannot be proven. Why? There are some fools who say you can see the footprint of Jesus. Somebody that they, they, they designed in Rome, in Italy, those homosexuals.
say, when they're waking the one is speaking, you will open your mouth and curse me. You, you are not afraid to curse an awakened one. If I was in India, people would be coming day by day, you know, carrying the divine mother on their head, run around, because she is the wife of the awakened one. No, I'm from Ibo. They will say, thunder fire me. They will say, God punish me. Because I think different. Because I have seen the behind of the Pawan Tapa. The generation that will come will say, how come these people never realized after the, the prophecies of Donald Trump, after the prophecies about the Python dance, about the hidden dream in the house of my wife, the Divine Mother, about his brother, Brother Nand. Why come this people with coconut? They never realized. Still, when the prophet speak, they said, there's another prophet greater than I. Because I don't agree to that, the stupidity of Judaism and stupidity of Christianity. Because I want to change the status quo, this narrative of the slave master. Because I have seen the behind of the power tapa. And what is in the behind is only pieces. It stinks. If you don't know yourself, you are the poverty. The eighth principle of the universe will be unveiling it in our. This will be our foundational teaching, explaining it, teaching people. People will be renewing their mind. People, this animal nature have to go. People will be men, women of integrity. People, men, women of integrity. Those who doesn't have a husband will go and get one. I don't know how a man can stay in the house who don't have a wife. You don't know that making love is good. I don't know how a woman will be in the house. You don't want to go and get a husband. You don't know making love is good. I don't know who told them all those things. We'll be teaching people. People will be renewing their mind. And this is one of those things that makes people, they, they cannot fully wake up and say, I am one with the divine. Because they don't feel right. Because time to time, they want to find somebody where they will. <clears throat> you are one with the divine. The Supreme has brought us, me and Divine Mother, in a time like this, to awaken, to restore the ancient teachings of our people. When the people will realize who they are, that you are not John, you are not Mike, you are not Eric, you are divine, divine nature, you are duality, duality. And when you are awakening your consciousness, not worshiping Jesus or Allah or God, when you realize that you are one, you celebrate the divine in you. The divine in you will explode, overshadow you. There will be illumination. Out of the belly will come the rivers of the living waters. When only the smile, sometimes like butterfly, might come and come and land on your head because of the power and the glory and the light of the supreme that is shining out. Maybe a bird will just fly out and come and give you some flowers because of the light and the power of the supreme that is in you. Because you have awakened the awakened one that is in you. You have become one with the divine. But no, Christianity will tell you, no, 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 no. Don't realize yourself. Just pray to Jesus. We are believing that the Supreme will send destiny, the workers, the helpers of destiny. There is something that Divine Mother always said. He said, for every situation in your life, 
that is a prophet made for that situation. The day that the military, Jubril Buhari the machine, went to the house of the Divine Mother in Biafran land, if the prophet didn't declare it and make a word of escape, today Brother Nand would have been dead. And these fools would have been run around killing themselves. See, today, they wouldn't have anybody to lead them because they have coconut upon their head. None of them will agree somebody else to lead them. They are, they are one million, one million want to be the leader because they have coconut. Had it been there, what did one did not make a provision that Nand is not going to be killed? Because universe obey my command. No. Have they brought the master prophet offering for me to eat? When I speak, they tell me, shut up. You know what I say? In every situation, there is a prophet made for that situation. Until the time, unless the prophet speaks concerning that issue, the day the prophet you come across with your prophet, Situation will change. I have come and I'm here to liberate our people. First of all, is the coconut on the head I will liberate. If you liberate the head of our people, the coconut, break it. And when I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna break it with a big hammer. I wouldn't mind that it's going to hurt them. And that's what I'm doing. I'm saying it the way it's going to hurt them. And there are people here when I'm talking, they're they are very scratching them, they're scratching them as if they have a shot. Yes, that is it. So I'm saying it the way it's going to hurt you. If you don't want to listen to me one day before you will die, you will remember my, my teachings. I will say, Oh no, that was a crazy man, that the guy that I thought was crazy. All he said is true. By that time, it's too late for your coconut head. You have wasted your time in stupidity. You are wasting your time going to church. Wasting your time hitting your head on a rock that there is nothing. Why there is a special rock inside of you? It's of you to awaken the rock on the top of your eyes and awaken the light, the divine that is inside of you. You run around. Chasing the white man because Master Prophet is not white. If I'm white, all of you would have come and bowed your coconut head on my feet. You are one with the divine. The kingdom is inside of you. And this 18th principle of the universe will awaken that kingdom that is inside of you. The light that is inside of you. The power that is inside of you. The energy. As I said before, we are hoping and waiting for the helpers of destiny. And the Supreme will bring them one by one on their own. We're not going to plead for them. Sometimes maybe the Supreme will, will put a hook on their nose and they will search for their working one. Somebody called to them and said, Master Prophet, tell me what you want me to do. And when I was telling it to Divine Mother, Divine Mother was asking me, on oh, what way, what way? I knew that is it. And he said, Prophet! And this is somebody that, that don't want to call that name. He has said today, Osana. He said, Tell me what I should do. Anything you need, let me know. Yahuwah will bring the helpers of destiny. Keep on giving your money, giving your talent to this stupidity of your slave masters. You're giving offering. Your coconut head 
is your head is 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 bullheaded. You continue giving money, giving money. Your your wife has no underwear. You continue giving money to this stupidity. There is no returns. There was a man. I made the teaching, and he was live. It was in Iceland. The police seized his passport, and he came to the working one. He said, "I watch your teaching, and please, I need help because police seized my passport since eight months. I have been here. I have no house. I have no job. I have no nothing. No paper. I want to go back home. My, the mother is about to die." And he said, "Please, prophet, pray for me." I said, "How did you get my information? I got it on the." Facebook because I'm tired. I've been asking. I've been going here and there. He said, "Please help me." I said, "He said I'm Biafra." I said, "Stop that rubbish!" Want to tell me you're Biafra? Biafra, my behind. Now I need help. You tell me you're Biafra. Biafra, my behind. I said, "Send an offering to the working one." He said, "Okay, okay, okay, okay." I scared him away. He said, "Get out!" Tell me you're. Yeah, be afraid, be afraid, my, 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 whatever. The next day, he saw me. I think he sent, I don't know, hundred euro or two hundred euro. I don't know anymore. He sent it. He said, "Please send me details." I gave him. I said, "I don't talk to you. Tell me, yeah, yeah, be afraid, be afraid, my pot." Now you remember, I'm a prophet. When you need help, if you don't need help now, you tell me to under fire me. You're not a prophet. He said, "Get out." He sent a bundle of money. When he sent it, he said, "Thank you." Go, so 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 go to the police. I'm speaking it so that he can hear. He said, "So so 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 to the police. Go. You will have your passport." He said, "Is it finished?" I said, "It's finished." Are you not going to pray? I said, "Pray what?" You have given an offering to the working one. The universe has seen your problem. Go. You will receive the passport. Go to that police officer. Three days, he receives his, his passport. But he has been praying, running around, chasing pastor, chasing this person, reading psalms, doing prayer and fasting, doing this, doing night vigil. But the day he sends his energy, which is the little thing that he has. This universe gave him his passport. Divine Mother always said that is a prophet made for every situation. The day that different people will understand that there is a prophet in the land, fully that there is an awakened one in the land, and honor the prophet and respect the prophet instead of trying to overthrow him. But that time to be easier for them for their coconut head. Let them be run around first. Let them be continue running around trying to. Overthrow me! They don't know that I am a son of the prophet, and even when I'm dead, one of my sons will will it will it will transfer automatically to my my sons. One of them. You can claim you are prophet, but you don't have that power to speak to the universe for concerning the different people. Keep on giving your offering to all those so-called pastors and prophets. One day, okay, say it. One day. You will bring glory here, and the tears drop. In that time, you will remember the master prophet. So, between seven days, he has all his passport, and he travelled to Nigeria. When he wants to travel to Nigeria, there is a prophet in the land, and all those things is for a purpose. This is not a story that I am making up. Some of you that used to hear me last year, by this time last year, it happened. I think he got it around October, or November, because he wanted to travel back home. December, he had it. I think first of November. And that brother, remember, you said you you will still bring offering to the master prophet. So don't forget, <laughs> you still owe me offering. <laughs> you have not brought Thanksgiving offering. What you brought was just a knock on the door. So you are one with the divine. Remember, your money is your energy. When you give your 
money, your energy to all these people. You are shortchanging yourself. You see, when you spend time like three hours a day meditating, transcending the mind, you are creating energy. When you spend eight hours, like in America, they are so successful and rich. You go, you walk, you do a lot of things, you make a lot of money in three hours. That money is your energy. And you take it and you can give it to all those babalawo they call pastor. Because they wear suit. Because they tell you stories that never taken place. This truth, you sat down. Somebody will tell you that that snake chased a woman. Snake ate apple. Snake gave a woman apple. Adam ate apple. You fool. 30 years, 40 years man. Sat down and listened to that rubbish. These people are stupid. Who has bewitched them? <laughs> My little boy, if, if I tell him that kind of story that snake ate apple, he will tell me, Daddy, are you crazy? Our people will sit down, pastor will tell them the story of Adam and Eve. Imagine God. They said, keep them in a garden. What is the essence of keeping them in a garden? It means you keep them in a place where there is fence, barricade, barrier, fencing. Then how come the devil came in? And in the, in the place that were angels, what was the job of the angel when the devil came in and come and slept with Eve? People are stupid. They never think. They never question this stupidity. They believed it. <laughs> After some fool would tell them the story, they will go and give offering and give more. They will give love offering. They will give pastor's offering. They will give transport offering. They will give their death offering. They will give their burial offering. And they will go home stupid because somebody told them that that elephant, that the man built a boat and put the whole animals to, 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 to. Who brought them straw? Who brought them corn? Who brought the snake, butterfly, or the ant to eat? These fools never ask the question. They believe it. But when I say something, they will challenge me. Please share this video. Share the video. If you still want to continue in your stupidity, go ahead. I bless you. Die in your stupidity. Anybody that hear this teaching, I am not cursing you. You have right to curse me. It's not going to hurt me because I am the awakened one. If you listen to this evidence, don't believe me. Go and check it out. Reason. Use your brain. You went to school, unless you never been to school. If you don't, if you have not, then fine. May the Supreme give you the understanding for you to be articulative or to be for you to to reason. But if you spend ten years, fifteen years going to school, think all those stories. Does it make sense? God send. Two angels, three angels, to rescue Lot. Lot said, oh, the men of the city came and said, bring the men, let us sleep with them. Lot, I said, take my little children, nine years, ten years, and go and sleep with them. Leave the angels. Does it make sense? Now, God rescued Lot. On the way, God killed the wife of Lot. Lot went with his two daughters to the mountain. God takes the wife out and allowed the man vulnerable with two daughters in the mountain. Nobody's there. So the girls slept with their father. Who write all those stupid things? You fools. 
believe those things. It is stories. It is stories that we have to understand the mystical thing because you are not a mystic people. You are not mystic. You don't have prophets. You don't have a working ones that will explain you things. You have pastors, big stomach pastors. What am I going to say? What am I going to talk? What am I going to say? Which one? Which story am I going to leave? The daughters of men, the sons of God, saw the daughters of men that they are so beautiful. The sons of God abandoned heaven, came and slept with the daughters of men. Remember, sons of God, angel, daughters of men, grew men, and pregnanted all of them. And God saw it late and said, oh, you have done wrong. When we are God, when they were coming down, the Bible tells us that God is omnipotent, omniscience, knows all things, knows the intent, intention. Knows everything. So he didn't see them when they were traveling. He didn't see them when they raped, when they met love with the first woman, second woman, third woman, third, fourth woman, till they build, they, they have giants in the land. Because of that, God got offended. Kick down devil. Say, devil, you have done wrong. Because of the uh, Eve, everything. God chased down devil. Said because you have you have made love with Eve, or or Adam because you have made love with Eve. At the end of it, it it's written in the book of Joshua. It came to pass when the sons of God came to God and devil also came. The devil that took Adam and Eve, the devil still came. The devil still fell to, to, to God. Have you seen your servant Job? He's faithful. And God said, okay, go. Try him. But don't kill him. Destroy everything he has. Don't kill him. And the Bible said that Job was a faithful man. A man of integrity. A man of honest account. Go and tempt him. But don't kill him. The Bible says that Job has beautiful daughters. The Bible says that Job sacrificed Bullock every day for sins of his family. God could not protect the man that trust in him if that pain existed. Job was useless. You believe that stupidity. This is a story for you to find what is the real meaning of this thing. It's a deep meaning. Don't follow the story, but your coconut pastors tells you that those things happen. God is so faithful. God raising beautiful daughters again. Stupid, you believe it. If it's me, I will kick that God in his behind. I trust you. You should not mess with my daughters and my sons. I I'm devoted to you. You should uphold me, my integrity. You believe those stupidity. What am I going to say? What am I going to believe? You see, it has nothing to do with the Supreme. It has to do with the stories those criminals wrote. You have to understand what does this thing mean? Those things have nothing to do with the Supreme. It is the thing that they wrote. You have to ask what is the real meaning of all these things? I know the Supreme is faithful. Supreme never change. And as he said, but our people lack understanding and knowledge because they have, don't have awakened ones to understand the mystical things, the riddles, the ancient stories to divide the corruption of the slave master and the teachings of our ancient people. They take everything, mix it like a hot dog. You are eating hot dog, you are eating cow meat, dog meat, snake meat, everything inside a hot dog. 
those people in America that eat hot dog, they don't know what is inside. Sometimes it's cats. And these days, you don't know where they bring it. They mix different, different meats. If it's in China, they can put even human body inside it and you're eating. This is the Bible. The Bible is like hot dog. So you have to be watchful and you need somebody to really explain you what is inside. Thank you for being with me today. I can see the presence of the Divine Mother. Divine Mother, you are my Yahuwah, my Elohim is with thee. Thou are beloved, appreciated, among bundle and bundle of women. Divine Mother, may Yahuwah, my Elohim, bless all the fruits of your womb. You are a blessing to the wicked one of the Biafran people, and you are a blessing to my people, Biafran. Divine Mother, you are most favorable. <laughs> you are fair in behold, the Divine Mother. You are awesome. Shalom. Thank you for being with me today, my people. We are looking for help us of destiny. Find a way to help us to establish, to restore what the white man has done and bring our people back to the way it should be. Thank you. Shalom. Abu Munye Nuai, Munye Kambu Abu Munye, Master Prophet Nature, Mechi Chomai. Abu Munye Nuai, Munye Kambu Abu Munye, Munya Muma Yahua Nature, Mechi Chomai. Abu Monye Noa, Prophet Nature, Mechi Chomai. Abu Monye Noa, Honye Kambu Noa. Abu Monye Prophet Nature, Mechi Chomai. Honye Kambu Nuwa Abu Monye Master Prophet Nature Mechi Chomae Abu Monye Nuwa Honye Kambu Nuwa Abu Monye 